Hey everybody, today we're going to be learning about physics. We got a couple of other people who are going to be joining us in the YouTube group, teaching us a couple of other sciences. But in the meantime, this is my focus, okay? Now here you go. The definition of physics is the natural science that studies matter, its motions, and behavior through space and time, and related entities of energy and force. Now we're going to be focusing on energy and force to keep it simple here. For this experiment, I'm going to use some water. A lot of people don't know that water is very polarizing, literally. And there you go. Polarization is by how a magnet works with water. I got a magnet from my fridge, and I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to focus this in. See this? See, it still connects. It's a very weak magnet but still works mostly on the top that is polarization for now polarization is the unequal sharing of molecules hence why you saw that water move to the side it was trying to share some of those bonds with those molecules now you guys know that answer for a test water is polarized now i'm adding some pepper and pepper's got some very interesting properties if you do look closely you notice that it doesn't sink. That's because pepper is very hydrophobic, as in it doesn't attach to any of the bonds with water. So there you go. Another reason for pepper to be floating up here other than hydrophobia is water tension, which is a natural surface tension that holds all the molecules here together. That's why you see it floating. Now I'm going to be breaking the water tension with some soap. So get ready for this cool little trick. You can see here, I got a bunch of soap. Now I'm going to break some water tension. It's going to be a really cool trick. Here's a nice little party trick that you can show your family. Whoa. And as you notice, some of the pepper went to the bottom right there. That is awesome and right there it's just natural physics for you guys i'm gonna follow this pepper right here and if you look closely you can tell it's just moving away slowly now i'm gonna do this in slow-mo with some dish soap And there you guys have it. We got some natural physics in play. And the reason why you see a bunch of the pepper move to the side is because it tries to remain in an area where there's water tension. As I mentioned before, pepper is hydrophobic as in it doesn't bond to any of the water. Hence why it moves away to the top or moves away from the soap. So it can remain afloat. So there you go. Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you something about one of my favorite branches of science, archaeology. Archaeology is the study of human history through excavating sites, the analysis of artifacts, and other physical remains. Things like the buildings or the people that lived in those societies. And the goal of archaeology is to explain the origins and the development of human culture. They can document cultural evolution through archaeology. They can see how our society has changed and how humans themselves have changed. And um, some of the more important finds that were related to archaeology um, that I looked up and read about and wanted to share with you are Crete, in, um, Crete a 4,000-year-old palace that had 1,300 rooms was discovered, and um, that wasn't even the most impressive part of it. The most important part was that they found tablets that had a language that was unknown. They named the language Linear B, and it took another 50 years for someone to interpret what it meant. One of the other very well archeological finds is Machu Picchu. It was an in Incan citadel, and it was built in the 1500s, but it was lost because we couldn't see it. It was on a really, really high up mountain. So no one knew it was there for a long time. 